everyone, Sally here, and welcome back to my Minecraft 1.18 Let's Play series. So, between episodes, I have um, finished digging out the 3x3 hole down to the bottom of the world. Um, not that you can see it now. And um, I was just about to... Oops. I was just about to start redoing the path so that it looks like this, but I realise I need some gravel and I have two pieces, I think. So what I was going to do was come over here to the gravel death trap and I thought I might record breaking it. Oh, I need to eat. Just because I think it, like some people might find it fascinating or whatever. I know I like doing it, so I just thought some other people might enjoy it. Um, I don't know how much there is. Jeez. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of gravel good because I need a lot of gravel but I, that's a lot more than I thought there'd be um while I dig this out I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do today I'm going obviously I'm going to finish off the path um I think I'm going to decorate the mine shaft staircase just to make it look pretty I, not fully because I kind of want some solid light blocks like the either some glowstone or shroom lights and I, I don't want to go to the nether yet <laughs> not until I've got enchanted diamond gear um, and I also saw a comment on my episode f three video I think that I could build a windmill sort of down here um, at the bottom like surrounded by fields and stuff and I think I might do that uh, I think I might build it somewhere around here build a windmill do a lot of fields around it and I think that'll look pretty cool so I need to keep shearing my sheep so I can get some white wool for the blades I think um, I've never built a windmill before so that should be quite interesting and if I have time I think I might build an enchanting tower as well um, which I think I'm gonna put up there but I'll need to either do like an, a cave entrance that goes through the mountain or a, a staircase or something. Just something to get up there basically. But I thought an enchanting tower that's got like an amethyst roof would look pretty cool. Um, but for that I need to find amethyst. So I'm going to need to go mining for that. And I also need, I kind of want to get some iron because I only have two pieces of iron. And they're going to go on my shears in a minute. So... Yeah, I'm going to finish digging this out. Uh, how much is that so far? It's a stack, that's, that's good. I'm going to finish digging out all the rest of that gravel and then I'm going to upgrade my path and then, <clears throat> and then I'll come back in and show you the path and see where I'm going to build the windmill. So this is my path now. And I really like it. Obviously, I haven't done this side yet because I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in this area here. Um, I may end up building something there and then having the path go that way around and down towards the lighthouse. Not lighthouse. <laughs> windmill. Um, I'm also loving how my copper's looking at the moment. It's very oxidised. It's not fully... I don't think any of it's fully oxidised yet. So look. Um... <clears throat> no, that's the most oxidised type of uh, copper that I've got so far, but I am liking how it's going so far. Um, same with the barn roof actually, I need to trim that bamboo. So yeah, that's my, that's my path. Um, I didn't know whether or not to put some stone bricks in, because the stone bricks is what the stairs are going to be made out of, going down. So it's kind of more of a... Uh, like build specific stone like over here I've got more of the dirt and path blocks because it's a barn it does look weird like there's a very solid edge here but sheep need wool uh, sheep need grass to grow wool so when I've done with the sheep and I think I may put pigs in here or like split it in half and have a chicken coop on one side with like hay bales on the floor because you do have hay at the bottom of chicken coops and then pigs on the other side once I've built the automatic wool farm um pigs on the other side with like pods all everywhere so it's like mud and stuff actually 
actually I could have pods all in. Oh, I need silk touch before I can do that. And then obviously the cows, I've sort of tried to add some in just by going like that basically, but, and there's a, there's a torch in there. Sorry cow, there we go. Um, but obviously there's too many cows in right now to, for me to go in here and change the entirety of the floor. Um, so yeah, that, that's why that's still like that. So I brought you back in because, obviously to show you that, and also because I'm going to start building my windmill now. Um, let's get rid of all the grass to make it easier for me to see what I'm building. As much as I love the grass and everything in Minecraft and like how the texture looks, it just gets so annoying. Like, it just gets in my way all the time when I'm trying to focus on building. So, yeah, I think I'm going to build my, I just my bucket. <laughs> I think I'm going to build my lighthouse. Oh my days, no, windmill. I need to have a look at some ideas, but I'm going to build it here in this bit that's sort of flat anyway. So I don't need to do any terraforming or anything. And I think I'm going to do a five by five sort of shape. So maybe, this kind of shape. It needs to be circular, not necessarily fully circular, but I think this is the shape I'm going to go with. I may make it a bit bigger um, once I've had a look at some designs on Pinterest and Google images and stuff like that. Um, and then probably have a spiral staircase going up the middle. And it's, I think I'm going to store all my food uh, well, wheat and crops and stuff in here. Maybe, I'm not sure yet, haven't decided. <laughs> yeah, but the color palette is basically going to be uh, different wood types, probably spruce and oak, and then cobblestone. I don't think I'm going to put any deep slate in this build um, as much as I don't want to like stray from the theme that I've got going up there. It is a different type of build and it's going to have a different roof and everything. So it's sort of like the start of my farming area. Kind of. Hmm, maybe not. But it, I think it's far enough away that I don't need to worry about it looking too weird. And it is a different, like I said, it is a different build. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that first. Yeah, I'm going to do that first, have a look at some ideas, and then I need to smelt up a lot of stone because I don't have silk touch and I can't get this kind of... Uh, I can't get stone bricks from normal. So while I'm building that, I'm going to smelt up as much stone as I can to hopefully get down to the bottom of here so at least I can just run up and down instead of having to jump up and down and use a lot of hunger. So yeah, I'll um, come back in when I've got something going over here. Maybe after it's finished, I haven't decided yet. Let's see how it's going. So if you've been paying attention to my levels between last clip and this clip, you will notice that I have significantly less levels. And that is because I have died twice while building this windmill. Both to fall damage, which is yeah, I don't have enchantments. I really need to get Feather Falling and also mainly because I don't have enough scaffolding to actually get to the top of the thing. But it is finished. Inside still needs a bit more work on, which I will probably do later um, because I want to start building the, well, I want to start decorating the mine shaft now. And it has taken me way too long to build this windmill just because of collecting resources and figuring out how exactly I want to build it but I am really happy with it and I hope you like it too and here it is I used stripped stripped birch and I thought it looked really good um obviously I've got no, just no. obviously I've got cobble cobble andesite and tuff at the bottom and then deep slate, uh, not deep slate, um, 
birch and spruce going up and then obviously wool for the rotors. I may make the rotors thicker, I'm not sure yet. I kind of like how they look right now. But I'm so happy with how it turned out. I've never built a windmill before. And it is honestly one of my favorite builds. I, I mean, obviously I've only built three buildings right now, but <laughs> it is one of the favorite things I've ever built. So I left the door open. When you come inside, got a little bit of storage here uh, again we'll probably decorate with like lanterns plant pots although I don't think I'll be able to because of the trap doors um, I may put windows in actually yeah let's put windows in while I'm here just so I can actually see out because uh, while I've been building skeletons have um, whenever it's turned to night and I've not been prepared skeletons have just decided to chill underneath the overhang and then I've come out and like being attacked. I haven't died from any skeletons. Both of my deaths have been from fall damage. So they just sort of stand like here, like just chilling. Like, yeah. And I come out and then it's like, ah, run, everybody run. <laughs> um, but I do, I do, I really like this build. Uh, yeah, so you come inside. There's only two floors because I, I've covered up getting to the higher floors because I don't really see the point in going all the way up unless I figure out a way to do it without using up too much space up here because it comes into here so it's just a three by three and then you can also come out obviously the floor looks a bit weird because it's the um, top of the wall below but I think it looks kind of cool um, kind of <laughs> a bit quirky but uh, yeah, and there's a birch tree there because I, I had to grow so much birch to build this thing. Building with stripped logs and solid dogs is so difficult when they they only grow to like seven tall. But yeah, I can come all the way around. Um, I will put probably some lanterns hanging off here. Can I do that? Yeah. Probably some lanterns hanging down just so it's not as dark because I feel like a skeleton will probably end or a creeper or something will end up spawning up here and then killing me. But, I, yeah, like I said, I am really happy with this build. Um, but I'm going to leave it for now because I have spent way too long building it. Mainly because of the lack of scaffolding. I have 18 scaffolding because I don't have any string. Normally it's the fact that I don't have bamboo. But I have a lot of bamboo. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm really happy with it. I know I keep saying that, but I, I just am. Um, I have kind of been smelting up some stone I think I've got about four or five stacks of actual stone um, let me have a look I've been putting it in here and I also need to sort my inventory out when I build I get very messy it's, I hate it so much when I build like this like sometimes I play modded and the auto the, like the sorting feature in your inventory I just love because it, it just saves me having to do all of this manually. You know, I'll sort this out later. Uh, just chuck all the wood in here. Uh, all the building blocks. Nope. In here. One reason why I want an auto sorter is because of all this junk. <laughs> uh, flowers go in there. And scaffolding I probably won't need. I'll put that downstairs. I do have a diamond pickaxe because I made my enchanting table. Um, obviously I haven't used it yet. I think I got the obsidian from the ruined portal. Yeah, I must have done. Or maybe the, the bird treasure that I found. Um, just, just because, yeah, I don't know why I have. I don't know why I made one because I didn't actually need to. Um, but that's pretty much it. Oh, no, missed a bit. That's pretty much all my stuff sorted. I did shear my sheep a lot. There you go, downstairs. Oh, I had a bed in here. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so I have four stacks of cobble. Did I put any more in here to smelt? No, I didn't. Mm. I think I'll smelt up two more stacks. Got half a stack there. Yeah, let's smell up two more stacks. And then. And then I think I'm going to 
start on this. Basically, the cop that it is mostly just for the staircase going down. I don't know how much I will need. I am going to start doing it now because I may not need it straight away. And then the sides, I think, I'm not really sure. I was thinking spruce going down diagonally and then like a strip of something else and then a strip of spruce again because it's quite four tall. I may step it back in one. Um, I can't remember exactly what I saw now. But all I know is that every three there's going to be like a solid light block. That, oops, can't get up now. <laughs> Which I'll leave a torch in so it'll be at that level there. Not that level. Well yeah, that level there. There. It'll be at that level there every three or four five blocks i'm not really sure i haven't decided yet two three four five um to make it look nice i may put leaves in i may put a waterfall what am i stuck on right now nothing okay but i yeah i'll come back in when i have finished the staircase going down and talk you through what exactly I'm going to do and repeat over and figure out the top bit here. So my staircase is very nearly at the bottom. Um, I can just run basically all the way down. I just realised you can actually see all the way down to the bottom right now, which is great. They're the diamonds that I need to fortune when I can. Um, the signs on the side are like location points for each ore so obviously we've got copper here then you've got iron which is there uh gold at minus 16 and diamonds and redstone at the very bottom um obviously you've got lapis as well but lapis is supposedly found at best at y0 but also between like y16 below basically so i think anything else that i'm mining for i should hopefully come across lapis and if i don't and if i am running low on lapis which i very rarely do because once i've got enchanted once then i should be okay and once i get villagers on the go i shouldn't need to enchant at all um but i can always just go to level zero and do that but yeah this is my idea so i've got Polished deep slate, polished andesite, and then polished diorite for the top bit. Um, I'm not sure where, I'm not sure if I want to push it in, like push it back a block now in the middle to put the torch in. Well, not the torch, the, although I could, what I could do is I could kind of do this, oops, put the andesite there and then just put a torch or a lantern on it. I think I might do that, but for now, it's going to be, uh, it's done. for now it's just going to be that and then a torch. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I've just got to do this all the way down, which means digging out one layer of here and one layer on each side. And hopefully I'll come across some iron because stone tools are so slow and it's just a pain to work with. But... I think this is probably the last thing I'm going to be able to do today. Um, I'm not going to be able to plant any fields, but I'll probably do a field down here in between episodes um, and also go on a mining trip so I can actually have some iron and hopefully get some levels back so I can enchant in the next episode because I think I have probably enough stuff to enchant now because I've got two and a half stacks of sugarcane and I have uh, 59 leather. I only need 45 leather to get 15 bookcases. So I have enough leather, it's just whether or not I have enough sugar cane, which if I keep coming up here and breaking these, I should be okay. Uh, I'm gonna plant that down there because there's a gap there and I might as well make use of it. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll finish this off, come back in and show you guys what I've done and then that's probably it for the episode 
So I've done all of the top part of the mine shaft entrance. Obviously the floor's done. Um, part of the, all the wall, I think, is, yeah, all the wall on this side is dug out. And this is what it's going to look like. And I think it looks really cool. Um, obviously I still need to figure out lanterns or lights or something, maybe, like I said, indenting it. Um, that's what the signs look like. Just thought I'd point out. Uh, but I have just run out of andesite and diorite. And I'm also running out of time to get this episode out tomorrow, uh, Sunday, if I want to stick to my schedule. I may change my schedule to Mondays and Thursdays because that seems to be an easier timing. But I am still getting used to the whole recording and working, so yeah. Uh, but like I said last episode, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, then you'll know... Um, you'll be more up to date with where I am with episodes and stuff because I'll start posting more like progress updates and if if like an episode's going to be later if I want to say if I wanted to finish this it'd probably come out on Monday but for now I'm going to stick to my schedule so I think that's yeah like I said that's all I've got time for for this episode um, obviously there is a lot of andesite, well, diorite around andesite. There is some somewhere I have mined a bit out. But yeah, this episode has taken me quite a while to record, literally just because of the amount of time it took me to build that windmill and also mine out the rest of the mine shaft. I will work on the mine shaft between episodes, so but by the next episode it will be done. My, well, that's my plan anyway. Like, as you can see, obviously this is all the way mined out. Um, and I think I'll probably plant a field between episodes as well. And also make the bookcases, maybe. Um, but, yeah. So, I am really happy with my windmill. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but I am. Um, yeah, if you want to see more of my videos and where this series is going, then subscribe and I shall see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs>